folks, Andy here from Andy's World Journeys and uh, today it's train journey time. You find me at Varanasi station and we are heading to Amritsar on the Hara Amritsar Mail and uh, we're talking about a journey of some 1150 kilometers and uh, 23 and a half hours if it's on time and on schedule and you know India. So um, anywho, let's do this thing. Quite a beautiful spot when you take away the craziness and the bombs. Train number two, two, four, three, two, 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 which is always nice. And we're on platform five. There it is, Hara Amrit Samal, 9.15. Arriving at 9.15 on platform five. Folks, no point in just hanging around here. It's a lot quieter than it was at eight o'clock in the evening. Anywho, we've got to go across to five. So folks, Settle in and enjoy with me this epic train journey of 1150 kilometers. This train is the Amritsar Hara Mail and its total distance from Kolkata, Hara Station, to Amritsar Junction is uh, 1910 kilometers. So we're doing, I guess, around 60% of the journey. It's an overnight journey in 2A C class. I booked this ticket uh, well in advance on 1 to Go Asia. And the on-time departure time from Varanasi was 9.15 a.m. and we are due in at Amritsar station at 8.40 a.m. the next day, which is a travel time of 23 hours and 25 minutes. Just over half an hour, folks. To the train, to the train, to the train. I don't know why I feel so jolly this morning. And while I've got your attention, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because it really helps this channel to continue to grow. Cheers. So these little signs, they tell you what carriage is gonna sort of line up roughly around here. So you can find your uh, can be ready for when the train gets here to hop on your carriage. That's our train, baby. Would you believe it's ever so slightly early? It's 11 minutes past nine. We're due at 9.15. Due to leave at 9.25. And here it is, baby. The Hara Amritsar Mail. It left late last night from Hara, about 10 hours ago. And this is our, this is our carriage, HA1. Okay, folks, we're all aboard for our home for the next 24 hours. And, um, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, similar to the last one, but not quite the same. We've got just two beds 
instead of three, which is why it's two AC. And the air conditioning doesn't seem to be going right now, and it, it could do with some. Anyway, we should be underway in about 5.10, I think. On time. And we are off. They say the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Well, this isn't quite a thousand miles, but it is over a thousand kilometers. One of the best things about this trip, though, is this rail journey. The the Hara Amritsar Mail train 13005 is it doesn't go through Delhi, which is not my favourite city in India. I have to be honest with you. Every rail journey is an adventure, and every adventure is a rail journey. We're in our in folks and uh, we're in the countryside. The green, green grasses of India. There are a number of apps that you can get on your phone. Um, just search where is my train and they'll give you a rough idea about arrival times and you know what the stations that are coming up. This is the one I'm using here. And that's giving me live updates on the train that I'm on, which is really handy. And um, so it says, tells you the upcoming stations and whether you're on time or not. And at the moment, we are on time. So I can't really ask for more than that. occasional western style toilet and here it is and the floor is always wet so you always want to be wearing your shoes um, tap shavers soap that will almost definitely be empty I don't know if that's some sort of oh that's look this goes on the toilet seat to keep it hygienic fantastic okay and press to flush I mean holy snaggerama they actually have toilet paper provided how about that? And you should know, this is about as good as toilets on Indian trains get. This, um, this is this is outstanding. They've even got a freshness spray, but I don't think, for some reason, that there's anything inside it. So they come around and they have delivered uh, lunch here, 150 rupees. So that's. Less than three Australian dollars, it's probably about two US dollars. No, yeah, about two US dollars. And you got paratha, you got rice, uh, you got um, dal fry, and I think that's vegetarian curry, and I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, let's see how we go. It's simple, but it's good. A little bit spicy, but only because I can't stand spice at all. I am um, better than just eating chips and biscuits for 24 hours. Mm. Dal, curry, rice, sweets, parata. Don't know. Mean spice, don't mix, folks. But um, I managed to get down the dal and the rice and the sweets. So three out of five ain't bad. 
we are apparently an hour behind at the moment. Um, but my app says we're going to catch up by luck now, so I don't know how we do that, but um, we'll find out. the 4.45 update folks and we've been going for seven and a half hours so the good news is uh, you know only about 16 hours to go basically there really I'll come around and clean up the rubbish from time to time which is nice um, and just so happened by coincidence that it was happening right then Anyway, um, I've been just been watching videos. Um, actually, you can charge. They've got power points, sockets. As you can see up there, so I've got the old, and so I've got the old laptop already uh, plugged in. see me because my light doesn't work but it's seven o'clock it's dark outside and um, all I want to do is sleep really we're still not quite halfway but um, yeah the rest of it's at night except for the morning obviously <laughs> that's uh, obvious um, anyway we're hitting the uh, we're hitting the nighttime part of the gym while we have a bit of light I give you a pack like this inside paper and inside the paper is uh, sheets and a towel and um, you make your own bed up comes with a pillow and that's how it's done for the overnight experience a stop somewhere at nine o'clock at night It's about 11 o'clock and uh, I'm going to try for some proper sleep. Uh, good morning all, it's about 6am and uh, I think we're coming up to a station called Ambala. Ambala. And um, sleep hasn't been good. I only had a few hours and I had the most two in a row, so maybe three or four. We are about somewhere between two and a half and three hours behind schedule somehow. Um, four o'clock yesterday, we were 15, 20 minutes behind. And now, now it's a, a huge whopping few hours, but that's okay, because I'm gonna try and get some more sleep. Um, uh, 8.40, according to the app, 8.40 is gonna become about half past 10 as an arrival in Amritsa, but one suspects it's more like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Hey there, it's uh, a little after eight. We were meant to get again within the next half hour, but we are well behind schedule, so I'm not sure where we are right now. We've stopped, but uh, my Wi-Fi is not. My my data is not working, so I can't really check where we are. Um, in terms of how far behind we are, but the last check we we're about three hours. <laughs> So I shared last night uh, this four berth little cabin sort of thing um, with a family of five <laughs> and the kids were um, active shall we say and they were quiet and uh, you know anyway as you can see it's sort of been left like a hurricane came through the general thing is um, 
there are no rubbish bins or trash cans on the trains so what happens is that periodically people come along and sweep up the floor but they haven't been since last yesterday evening so it's been left in a bit of a disarray oh it's been a long journey and uh, we've still got a few hours to go i i would estimate probably three from here I think the station is Lutana. Lutiana. Oh, breakfast is there. So looking at the practicalities, you've left, just left Ludiana. The next major stop is Jalanda. I think that's about an hour. And then from there, it's just under two hours to our final destination, Amritsa. It's 8.48 now. Let's say we get to Jalanda at 9.30, that gets us in at about 11.30. This is uh, Jalanda here, Jalanda Cant Station, and we are on our way. Um, probably with a bit of luck less than two hours to our um, so it's 9.34 so um, we're nearly an hour after we should have arrived at Amritsa we've still got two hours to go so hopefully with a bit of luck we'll be there by 11.30 we'll see how we go There's people walking down the train tracks to get to Amritsa Junction station or maybe they're just getting off here from our train, I don't know. Anyway, out there is Amritsa, but we've stopped. It's about 5 to 11, so we're going to end up being 2 hours 20-ish late. I think literally, literally we're, you know, 500 metres from the station and we're stopped. You've got to laugh, don't you? I mean, you've got to laugh. Oh well, you know what? The, the train left like two days ago from Howard, which is it, obviously in Kolkata. So it's a um, two and a half hours when the whole trip is basically 36 to 38. It's not bad, is it? Okay, so that's us there, and that's the station. And it, I think it's about seven to 800 meters, and we're just, we just stopped there. There's us, there's where we've got to go, um, it's a Junction Station, and uh, yeah, we're just sitting there, about seven to 800 meters away. folks somehow we made it from Amritsa Junction Station and me and his world journeys it's been a hell of a journey thank you so much for joining me wherever you are in the world stay safe may the journey never end it's done